Okay, I'm going to multiply some um, large numbers. So one way that you can multiply large numbers is using lattice. Lattice uses a box that has as many rows and columns as the numbers that you are multiplying. So I'm multiplying a three digit by a three digit, which means I need a box that's three by three. So I line up one digit of each number, one on the top and one along the side. And then I also need to draw in some diagonals. And what happens is when I multiply seven times one, I'm going to put the tens place in the top of the box and the ones place in the bottom of the box. Seven times one is seven. There's nothing in the tens place and seven in the ones place. Seven times four is 28. Two in the tens place, eight in the ones place. Seven times eight is 56. Five in the tens place, six in the ones place. Three times one is three. Three times four is 12. Three times eight is 24. And then the last one, two times one is two. Two times four is eight. Two times eight is 16. And then I'm gonna add along the diagonal. So six and nothing is six. Four plus five is nine plus eight is 17 and I carry up to the next diagonal. So I have six plus two plus two is 10, and then two plus seven plus one is 10, so 10 and 10 is 20, carry up to the next diagonal. I have one plus eight plus one is 10, plus three plus two is five, so 10 and five is 15, carry up to the next diagonal. And um, two plus one is three, and zero is zero. Then I read my answer along the edge, three, five, zero, seven, six. So my answer is um, 35,076. Now the other way to do uh, multiplication is the traditional way where you just set up your problem like this. And the important part of this type of multiplication is that you keep everything nice and straight and you have to be neat. Okay, so seven times eight is 56, so I'm gonna put down the six and carry the five. And then um, eight times three is 24, plus five is 29. And eight times two is 16, plus two is 18. Then I need to go back and cross out my carries. And now I'm going to multiply everything times 4, but it's not really 4, it's 40, so I need a placeholder down here. 4 times 7 is 28, carry the 2. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And press out my carries again. And now I need to multiply everything times 1. Only it's not really one, it's a hundred, so I need two placeholders. One times seven is seven, one times three is three, and one times two is two. And then this is where it's helpful if you've been neat, you need to go ahead and um, add your columns. Six plus zero plus zero is six, nine plus seven, I'm sorry, nine plus eight is 17. Eight, plus four is 12, plus one is 13, plus seven is 20. Nine and one is 10, plus two and three gives me 15. And one plus two is three. You'll see that we got the same answer either way we did it. It just depends on which one makes the most sense to you. Multiplying